Yeah, that text message from him about Jay wanting me to not text him, even though I texted him really intelligent, bohemian, uh, musical, amateur musicological text, hurt my feelings. And I wrote back, Blunt, you ruined my lunch. Say something funny and say something sweet. So he called and we joked about how many penises could fit in a light bulb, which I said is either zero or if you include the possibility of micro penises and then you take the quantum possibilities into account infinite and he said something weird about his fantasies and I was like well that's weird and then somehow I said that he had the perfect proportions and then I said I probably shouldn't be saying this in front of my mother and he's like go tell her how big I am and I'm like mom 7.8 inches <laughs> and you're like whoa TLDR more too much information and um that was so sweet of him to oh and I said no oh, so I was saying he's starting to understand me because I said um Honey, I can't handle social opprobrium. And he said, I know, sweetie. And I said, it's my weakest spot. And he said, I know, sweetie. One of his, the guys that he grew up with as a sort of a, as if brother, you know, his, his mom's best friends, one of her two sons, has social phobia and kind of just like much worse than me because I guess he doesn't leave the house very much, which is weird because he's a musician, so that must make it really hard. He was a great friend. He used to always say, I love your poems, Jude Steiner Hall. And Simone, who goes by Yeshi, because she gets a lot of fixation, or fixated clients as a social worker, would do the same thing. But um, isn't that sweet? So ID teases me that a lot of my posts on general Facebook and the Enneagram and even ArtShare are, are essentially, my boyfriend is so great. My boyfriend is so awesome. And then I added that uh, there's this weird thing where I like never name him. I never say my boyfriend and his name in the same sentence. <laughs> it's like, uh, my boyfriend who shall be remain nameless because reasons. And you're all he's M word and we won't really, we're going to mumble that. Um, so what's, okay, really dirty joke. What's a really dirty joke I had in my head? Uh, oh yeah, and then I said that although he's right there in the 80th percentile of men, He's the smallest long-term partner I've had, thank God, and I expanded on that a little bit, like enough of those <clears throat> overly LPs, and you were like, gross, and I'm like, oh no, I probably shouldn't be a founder admin of an erotic sharing jokes and art group, because apparently my taste is gross to both you and Renee, who have, have been around, and so if I gross you out, then I'm, I would just gross everybody out. You and Pebbles are in the video a little bit. Oh, look at Pebbles. Okay. The final message of the pebble of the video is Pebbles is cute. I can't make audios anymore because I can't get them off my phone. So I make videos and let's see if I can get it off my phone. Possibly not. 252.